Welcome to another video. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you tips and tricks for the beginners in Miner's Heaven. So, the first tip is don't be a spammer. Well, it's a good idea to use a tons of upgraders and mines to increase the amount of cash flow that you need to rebirth or to grind, but it can be a big deal because the server will lag, your ores are going to lag too. So just make a normal setup so the other players will not experience any problem and you are good to go. Hey guys, my name is Cryog, and I'll also be helping you beginners out with a few tips that I have thought of. My first tip for you guys is to check on Fargeal and Spook Me Duke every day to get your free daily rewards. Fargeal generally gives you C, Unreal, Boxes, and Inferno Boxes, while Spook Me Duke gives you 1 to 2 random boxes every day. And no, you can't get a heavenly box from him no matter how many times you ask him. The way of getting to Fart Shield is I would start at the middle, that is where the Craftsman Tower is, and find the river that's going out on the middle of the map, and Fart Shield should be on that bridge, and if you follow that river out and take a left, you should end up in Spook Maduke's cabin or cavern. For those who don't know the Massman yet, well, basically he's selling various items such as contraband, luxury, and fable tier items. You can use this opportunity to increase your collection or to get a new upgraders. But unfortunately, this guy only appears on the weekend and spawn in several locations. But don't worry, because I always make a video about his location every weekend. So don't forget to turn on the notification so you don't miss any of his videos on my channel. Ah, the classic. Research points have been a staple of Miner's Haven and can be very useful for doing many things such as purchasing blueprints at the Craftsman, buying some items from the Masked Man, more on him later, and even just unlocking item tiers in the shop. The best way to farm RP Research points is to hop on the game and to use the fastest mine you own on various furnaces, which I'll list some of the best ones early on right now. The fastest one which you can get on life one would be a shop item called the Fusion Reactor. This, however, costs five non and will require the ores of an upgrade tag of 20 or more. Upgrade tag means the type of upgraders it has been through. An example, the large upgrader adds a tag of one while something like the radioactive finer adds a tag of 1.6. If you cannot get 5 non alien easily, I would suggest scavenging for crates which give you an RP amount depending on the type of crate. That tip is actually next. Or waiting until life 400 to have a chance of and getting the nuclear stronghold. Another important note is that due to the amount of lag RP farms cause, it is advised to go into a private server to prevent lagging other players. Do you know that you can get free boxes and RP? Yes, you can. There are a lot of boxes that will spawn in the world and the boxes actually contain a different amount of RP and items. It depends on what boxes you found. For example, Inferno Box has a good items in it because there's a chance you get vintage, exotics, even relics items. And scavenging is a great way to gain RP, especially for those who don't have any items to make an RP farm. This one is very important. This doesn't mean you use every upgrader, but it does mean that when you get a new upgrader or mine from rebirthing or the shop to use it. However, before doing that, it will be beneficial to test that and make sure it will actually be useful for you. An example of a bad item would be using Radioactive Fighter for ores above 500 billion, as it up 
as its upgrade will be one times. But an example of a good use is if you get a rebirth item like the Vortex Chamber to test its multiplier and then decide if it is a good addition to your setup or not. The next tip is to investing in UC. Well, UC is so hard to find. You only can get this from codes, daily gifts, and UC box that appears on the map, or you can buy it using Robux. Because it's important, you need to use it wisely. My tips for a new player is to invest the UC for teleporters and reversible conveyor, because these two can make your setup more efficient and looping more easier. So you got enough to skip your first life. Bravo, that can be hard to pull off, especially at a low life. But I assure you, skipping lives can really speed up your journey. But there is one major setback to this. When you skip lives, you get less items than when you don't. Skip. And this can cause you to be stuck at higher life not knowing what to do. Also, do not under any circumstances skip lives in second sacrifice until at least life 8000. If you are not in sacrifice or first sacrifice, just ignore this. This is because you will have very few items when you make it to life 8000 and will prevent you from progressing faster and may make you lose motivation to keep going. Why start skipping at life 8000? This is because at 8000 the Railgun Cannon is added to the Rebirth Pool and this item is easier to obtain when skipping because of its tier. Advanced Reborns are more common when you skip more. Skipping lives can save you a lot of time but can cause you to lose a lot of time as well. So the last tip from me is to follow every update, news, and events from the game. Why? Because if you participate in events, you will get event items that are limited. And by participating in events such as Halloween, Easter, Christmas, etc., you will get limited time upgraders or event upgraders. And that is very useful, especially those items can increase the value to help you get more cash for even faster rebirth. Ah, oh, the wiki. One of the best, if not the best way to get information about Miner's Haven. If you are unsure about anything, the wiki can be a great place to look for some information about a certain item or tier of items. If that doesn't work, I'm sure Googling can come up with some answers as well to your many questions about this game. And don't be ashamed of using the wiki. I still use it to this day if I'm unsure of an item statistics. You can also find many tips and tricks that we didn't cover in this video. Seriously, use it. It will increase your knowledge about this game so much. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Actually, this is my first collaboration video with Cryoc. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and check out his channel. The link in the description below.